Yeah, um, bang bang Ray Hill, um, please uh, press the like button and subscribe. Yeah, when I was in Chelsea Prison, you know, um, and I used to talk to Ronnie Benner, I used to go to Ronnie Benner's cell and talk to him sometimes, just me and him in there, yeah. And Ronnie Benner's a nice guy, man. I um, mean, he's a gentleman and he'd give you anything. I mean, I remember when I first came in and it introduced me to Ronnie Bender. Uh, I was with Toby, like my mate Toby. Walked into Ronnie Bender's cell, he gave me milk, coffee, sugar, anything I wanted. He had bottles of scotch, Bacardi, gin, he had all sorts of camp cigars, he had cigarettes. Why not? You know what I mean? The guy's doing balance of birth. People can't believe when I talk about chunks of prison and the things you used to get in there. I mean, it's unbelievable. I mean, my cell was just done out like a proper, proper uh, uh, bedroom. Uh, units, all you, we cut up all the cupboards and made units of them and all that. It was nice, you know, pure white. It was really nice. Carpets, curtains and all that sort of thing. I even had a sofa in there, a little sofa. It was lovely. I, I loved uh, Chelsea Prison, the best prison. But when I was to talk to Ronnie Bender um, about... It's nice because I was not young. I've been in prison, uh, what, since early ages, you know. But to meet the gangsters that, you know, you hear about the craze... The Benders, the Frasers, the Tibbses, the Dixons, the Lawrences, and you hear about all them people, you know, you think, you know, will you ever meet them? And I met everybody. Everybody that you mentioned, everybody that you name, I've mentioned, sorry, anybody that you'd named and I've mentioned that I've met, I've met loads. So many people, mate. And it's, I mean, when I was uh, with Ronnie Bender one day, sitting in there, and I'm, I've been with Ronnie Bender about, been in there, what, in the neck about a year, maybe a little, little longer. And I was sitting down talking to Ron, and uh, he was telling me about his, I think he's with a, a Filipino a Filipino woman or something like that. And they used to, he used to do his astral projection and he used to talk to his missus. He'd come out of his soul and all that, his body, and his soul would fly up here and it's there. Listen, they believe what they believe in. If they can do it, they can do it. You know, we were weird to say that they can't do it, yeah? And... Ronnie Benny used to talk to me about the craze and uh, what they used to do, what it was like, Ray. He said they could have a fight. They weren't, they, they weren't um, walkovers. They could march on. But the only thing about the Benny, uh, about uh, the craze, they liked a firm, yeah? They liked the firm wrapped around them. And so it was all together as a unit, yeah? Always, all, everywhere they went, it was always a unit, yeah? And he said it's the same when we all got Nick Ray. Uh, when we all got nicked for that big, big one, um, the vicar and all that lot. Uh, not the vicar, sorry, uh, Jack the Hat. And I, sorry, I got a bit carried away. Uh, but Jack the Hat and all that little firm. And he said, uh, the craze could have got us off of it, yeah? All us people, we could have got off of this way. Do you know what I mean? The craze made it, made it, made, made it so we all got nicked together as a, as a firm, yeah? As a company, as a big unit, yeah? So we don't ever leave each other, we're all see, always together. Why, Ray? Do you know what I mean? Why? Why did they do that? Why didn't they just keep that shut and just, you know, not as a unit, you know, we was all, all one and we all worked together and all that. Why? You know, and, the, and we all say why, but, you know, like, because they were, they were a dangerous pair. Um, but, you know, when, you, when you're with them, you're with them, yeah, but come on. If two of you are going to get nicked, two of you are going to get nicked. Forget about the other ten. Forget about them, you know, because when, you know, you're going to want help when he, on, on the road and this, that and the other. Forget about that lot. You let them walk, yeah? But they never. They never let them walk, yeah? And they want just as, as a big company to get themselves, every one of them, put in nick, yeah? For 20 years, 19 years, 17 years, all that sort of bird, you know what I mean? It was a liberty, you know what I mean? I think it's a liberty. But that's what they do in them days. I mean, but I think uh, the Richardsons were, uh, were, were were very staunch like that. You just get Charlie or Eddie. I mean, Eddie is the only one really who's done Big Bird. I mean, he was uh, around when they got out of it. Was it when they got out of McVicker? When McVicker, uh, he got out quick. And um, um, Eddie Richardson, Lawrence and all that lot was stuck in there and they couldn't move, yeah? It's the same thing with McVicker. McVicker just went, didn't care about anybody else. And it's, you know, you think about the things, the old gangsters, uh, is that how the gangsters work? I don't know, yeah? But 
I love Ronnie Bender. I like Jim. I like the Chibsies. I like the Dixons. I like all them people. I love the guy called Ronnie Malloy. Uh, Ronnie Malloy is one of the silver bully uh, people. A nice fellow, man. I'll never forget him in the pantry, hiding everything. You could never walk out of nothing. Ronnie he used to walk out every day, tea, milk, sugar, everything, yeah? And you couldn't walk out of nothing. He wouldn't give it to you. <laughs> Jim, Jimmy Tibbet, loved him, man. Uh, when I see Ronnie Bender uh, walk out of a leg of lamb one day, I mean, I was shocked, you know what I mean? Whisk. When in the, when in the uh, butchers, Jimmy Tibbet gave him a big leg, leg of lamb and he just walked out of it, eyes are winking. Screw rubbed him down. <laughs> Mitchell, Mitchell was the SO in the uh, kitchen and just let him walk out. You know what I mean? I think respect, man. Respect, you respect, you know what I mean? You've got, like, you know, they're proper screws to do that. And I... That was a good thing about Chelmsford Prison. Chelmsford Prison in my days, in the seventies, you know, up to up to when it burnt, not seventy eight. In the seventy eight, um, honestly, was the best nick you could ever imagine, mate. Anything you wanted, you could get. Any anything, but on a gun, you know, you could get anything you wanted. Seriously, it was like drink, tobacco, chocolates, anything you wanted, mate. You know, and and people like Ronnie Bender and the Chipsies could get that, you know. They got anything they wanted. They were really, really respected by the staff. Uh, Tony Lawrence, another one, really respected by the staff. They love Tony, mate. Tony, same thing. Good people in there, mate. You know, uh, my mate Tony Ludlow, Diamond, Diamond. Frankie Fraser, when he come in, he ruined it for himself a bit, smashing, trying to smash the place up, you know what I mean, with a... With, with a uh, with a big boom, smashing all the coil grated sheets as they was doing one of the toilets out. Smashed out the pieces, that's what you get him, that's what got him shipped out. But he was gut he Frank, Frank was all right, you know. I, I liked talking to him. Um he told me a few told me a few tales about Billy Hills and, and all that little Jack and, and Jack and, and all that little firm, you know what I mean? And uh, what that was like and he told me a little bits and pieces about them. And he was, uh, as I say, a few people have said, if you've got 20 people holding one person down, Fraser was really, really dangerous because he'd pull their teeth out and everything, he'd cut them to pieces. But as far as he could handle himself, he wasn't all that good, yeah, but he was very dangerous. And I like Frank. He had a lot of bottle, mate. He had a lot of bottle, maybe too much. Um, Mickey Green, number one man. I love Mickey Green. But it's, you know, like Mickey Green, uh, what, do call him? what do they call Mickey Green? I don't know what they call Someone say he's the captain. He was this, he was that, he was Scarlet, Scarlet Pimpernel. You know, you know, Mickey Green was proper, mate. I like Mickey Green. He had a club, you know, that was to go to when I was with a couple of mates of mine and they met some nice people in there. Uh, anyway, it's only a short little thing about um, Ronnie Bender and the craze. Just, you know, Bit guys that the craze took everybody else with them, yeah. When when they could take it themselves, take it on the chin themselves, they took everybody else with them. But that's what they do. That's what they done. And a lot of people in there uh, was doing bird down for to, to nothing really, you know. And the craze just let them right in prison with them, yeah. Anyway, this is Bang Bang Rail. Please uh, press the like button and subscribe. Just give me your comments about it. You must a lot in there know more than I do. Uh, but, you know, now and again, I get to talk to people and they tell me things. I just, but if I look a bit sweaty, I have to sell a workout, yeah? So anyway, this is Bang Bang Rail. Please press the like button. Bye-bye.